Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining us. My name is Oyubuchi Odianja, and today we'll be discussing um, again the issues of rowdiness um, in Nigerian banks. And today I'll be inviting um, an industry professional. Um, her name is Nancy Oswagu, and today she'll be joining us to discuss um, and prefer solutions to this particular issue that has led to a lot of nigerian citizens not adhering not just nigerians actually we have expatriates that live here right so not just nigerians but people that live in nigeria not adhering to the social meet social distancing mandate so you know it's a mandate that has been preferred globally by the world health organization and other international health organizations to be able to combat this pandemic called COVID-19 and I hope it ends very soon. Oh hi BC, thank you so much for joining us today. So we'll be having Nancy online very soon. I believe the network is um, really not letting her to connect. So um, we'll be calling her in on phone. You know these people can be very busy for us and we really need her advice. Um, the last time we spoke to Mr. Abraham, Mr. Nancy we're waiting for you online. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, so the last time we spoke to Mr. Abraham Bolarinwo, and he preferred two amazing solutions. The first was for um, the banking sector to organize a national um, business banking summit. Yeah, that's how he called it. A national banking summit where every banker in Nigeria will be able to prefer solutions to this banking issue of um, rowdiness, really. And then he also um, advised that banks need to make sure they install um, ATMs that would enable depositing money in them rather than having people come into the bank to deposit money. So those are the two solutions that um, Mr. Abraham preferred. And... Um, Nancy will be joining us in a couple of seconds. I just sent her an invite and we're hoping today again that we don't have interruptions. Hi, beautiful. How are you doing? Hello. How are you Hi. doing? Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. You look beautiful. Can you Thank hear you. me? <laughs> Thank you. All right. I think there's a little bit of yeah. delay in your response instagram and all that how is work family oh well very well thank you family is great we thank god work uh, has been tedious but we're, we're coping and we're on top all of right. the situation all right yeah. okay so, so with, um, we're fine okay thank god for that so without wasting further time i would like to um, okay. ask you the first question so what's the current situation um in banks in terms of rowdiness Okay, um, at the moment, speaking at the moment, I, I won't say it's, uh, it's as bad as uh, the first, second day or the first week of the ease of lockdown, but still, we still experience crowd and rowdiness uh, at the banks. So every morning when we get to work, we still experience, we still see that there's so much people waiting to come in, waiting to do transactions at the bank. So it's still there, but it's not as much as it used to be when we started up. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for that feedback, um, Nancy. So um, what do you think can be done better? What strategies do you think you can prefer to be able to reduce? Because I know we can't be eliminated for now, but what can be able to better this current situation? Because not adhering to social distancing is a serious danger. I believe no bank brand wants to be attached to being um, a source of spreading the virus or whatever. So what are the strategies you think should be done to make this better? Okay, before we get to talk about strategies, yeah, we have to mm -hmm. know, we have to talk about the cause or what exactly, or the reason why this, um, why we experience this rowdiness because mm -hmm. before now, it wasn't there, it wasn't like that. People just walk into the bank and do what they want to do and step out. So then, mm -hmm. before you get a, a, a cure for something, you have to know the cause of that thing. Yes, the root so, cause analysis. First of all, we know that, yeah, we know that it was the lockdown, and then people had so much to do, but they were unable to make it to the banks. Mm -hmm. And now the lockdown has been eased, and then everybody wants to come out at once. And do mm -hmm. what they want mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. But then, based on government rules of social distancing, we can't accommodate everybody in the banking hall at a time. Yeah. 
the so that being said, what the strategy book a lot has been put in place actually. It's just for okay. people to comply. Okay. We just we just try to um, urge people to comply because a lot of people see it as banks being selfish or not being efficient or so forth. It's actually not the case. Just for people to comply. Okay, first of all, we always get to tell customers to make sure they get signed up on all e channel platforms. Okay. All e channels platforms. And some people will be like, oh, they want to say they don't want to have access to their money, this, that, that, which is very understandable. But then I always tell people saving is all about self discipline. So whether you have all the e channels on your phone or not, if you want to save, you still save. But then what about it in cases of emergency? What would you do? Mm -hmm. So that's why we encourage people to get this e platform. So as per remedy, a lot has been put in place. Okay. Um, from upgrading, yeah, from upgrading the e channels, a lot can be a lot can be done on our e channels platform as of now. Okay. Uh, before now, you could barely like you could do some transactions, you couldn't do some, but right now you can do almost everything. Oh wow! On the mobile okay. application on the internet uh, internet banking platform, and of course the ESS did the short code. The short code, yeah, a lot can be done too. And of course, okay, like for example, before now, when you when you sign up to the e-channel, to the uh, mobile application, and you want to increase your limit, you have to go to the bank to do that. Your okay. Limit transfer. You have to go to the yes, bank. But now yes, you don't have to true. do that. You can do that on your own. You can go ahead to increase your limits on your own via the channel, via the mobile oh, application nice. channel. So all these things have been put in place just to ease stress Mm -hmm. To make people know that you can bank from the comfort of your home. You didn't have to come to the bank. But then we still have to admit that there are still some transactions you have to be fiscally mm -hmm. present to effect. Mm -hmm. Like um, there's some um, transactions you can't do. And then the customer service line is 24 hours. But still then we know that there are some things you cannot just do over the phone. If not, if not anybody can just pick up her phone and pretend to be me. So we need you to be fiscally present for that. That comes to like customer service issues and okay. some other transactions and cash deposits. Mm -hmm, cash deposits mm -hmm. You have to be present to do cash deposits. But still then, we try we, the cashless policy that CBN is trying to introduce or is introducing is trying to um, help that part. So you don't have to do so much cash trans and transactions. I beg your pardon. So mm -hmm. yeah, that has been put in place to make sure you can just sit at home and bank a lot of adverts on different um media a lot of we do lots of jingles lot of adverts on, on on media just to enlighten people because we may do these things and people will not know so we have to let people know down to the interior and also most importantly we have introduced or it has always been in place but now it's more serious the agent banking we call it agency banking these so are please like tell us about it. Between, yeah the, okay, agent bankers are like, they are also our customers, but they are people that have signed up to be agents for the banks. They're like middlemen between the bank and those in the interior, especially those in the interior. There are some areas okay. that um, that are kind of um, suburb that would mm -hmm. they will have to go all the way to the bank. But no, you don't have to do that anymore. We have agents placed at different places. And we also urge people to come up, like come and sign on to be an agent. It's more like you're earning on the go. So it's a win-win situation. You're okay. helping and you're earning. So it's more like you're... So agent banking is being control. encouraged more now. Exactly. exactly. We try to encourage that more. Now there, people can go to agents to deposit cash, to mm -hmm. withdraw cash, to open accounts. You don't have mm -hmm. to come to the bank to do all that. So this is your house. That is the agent. You just walk up to the agent and do all that and start to transact. You can open accounts on the comfort. You can just lay in your bed and open an account and start and start doing your transaction. It is easy now. So it's just for people to get enlightened. So our all, all our urge is for more adverts, more ads, more information spread, like on different media platforms. Just spread this information. Let people know. A lot of people know, but some other people do not know. So okay. how to get this information to the interior part of the country, to people that are staying, like, uh, it's not everybody Very that is rural smartphones. areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not everybody that is in smartphones. So that's why the bank has made, uh, has made it easy for even those that don't use smartphones. You have your short code and you're good to go. You can okay. do practically everything from the comfort of your home. But for those uh -oh. that come to the bank, 
and for those that make us experience this rowdiness when people like those that come to the bank on a daily basis we we do our possible best to make sure we don't go against government laws or government yes very important laws. so if you notice when you drive past or when you walk past banks these days you see every almost each branch of every bank has a canopy in their premises and sits under the canopy well spaced to the required centimeter by the government so okay anybody that comes like yeah we talk we yeah, people come in batches because right now we can't afford to let any everybody go come in saving ourselves the staff and saving the customers too a win-win situation we take care of ourselves we take care of our customers we make sure yes, your, temp your temperatures your temperatures are being checked you wash your hands and sanitize while going in and while coming out and know so know that you're moving is very important yeah, exactly. Very important. Very important. You don't step mm. into the gate if you don't have a mask. And no, no okay. handkerchiefs. Some people who just want to tie their handkerchiefs. Like, <laughs> no, that almost that is so not effective. So yeah, we mm. don't we don't encourage this. So please get your mask. That's what we actually encourage people to do. Get your mask. Stay safe. Basically, do your transactions. Stay safe. Now in the bank we have various units. There are various units in the branch. The funds mm -hmm. transfer. The caddy withdrawal section where you go to deposit where you go to make and place the customer service so mm -hmm. what we do in the in our bank is in the bank rather is we don't allow more than a particular number of people to be at okay. the unit at a time for okay. example those going to the customer service don't allow more than two or three people in the customer service section at a time same with the funds transfer depending on how wide the space of that unit is so we don't allow okay. people to just step in like that but before you step okay. in, you have your mask, you wash your hands, you sanitize, and then All right. you clean and come out clean. Yeah. Wow. Like, Nancy, I, my plan was to be able to take notes while you are um, giving these strategies, but unfortunately, I couldn't take notes because you were saying so much, and um, I really appreciate you. have really mentioned a lot of strategies that are being put in place currently, but one of the things that gives me personal concern as a media practitioner is the issue of disseminating this information in um, lingua franca, or should I say in local languages. I understand that agents are those that stay in the rural areas, yeah? But then, how about sensitization in local dialects, local languages, so that these people that are in rural areas can actually understand so what is being done about that now? yes i i, I all, I'll also encourage that but then all these things have been discussed all these things have been carried out like they're like okay. the institution i work for the institution mm -hmm. i work for we do that a lot sometimes mm -hmm. we take ourselves to a particular suburb we could just mm -hmm. go in mass in a particular suburb and try to and we sensitize them we use the Pidgin English, we use Igbo, we use Hausa, we use Yoruba, the three major languages. And then depending okay. on the location we are, if there are like other language people, uh, other languages that are dominant in that place, we use that language. We just look for someone that speaks that language and amongst us and we use the language. Okay, so that would be encouraged that's how in this, current, this um, period. That will be done more? Is that what you're saying? Or you're encouraging I, this I to be done I really more? Can't, yes. I can't guarantee that. I, say, I can't say that will be done more. This okay. period because it's all it's, it's not going to be possible i won't lie to you it's not yeah, going to be possible true. to move in mass to do that so it's more like um sorry it's a more like me encouraging those at the mm -hmm. top or those involved and mm -hmm. also ourselves we, we have to we as the staff and even our customers that know we, we actually plead for them to help us disseminate this information to people in the way they will understand that we should make mm -hmm. we should engage the media more now we know that people people uh, spend more times on their phones okay. than they actually watch TV. They get their news on their phones. So I would actually encourage that this it's been there. It's happening. You notice that when you approach your phone, an ad just comes up of a bank advertising something or the other. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. But then we should try to um, how will I put it? We should try to diversify, use different languages like. Like you said, try to use our local languages too. But then the thing is, by the time you do an ad on um, on the media, like maybe on a blog in Yoruba or in Igbo, so uh, do you, someone that cannot read English, do you think the person can read Yoruba? 
Jig then we can that we can like so we, think maybe radio or something radio jingles i think that's exactly. because a lot of yes. people they listen to the radio especially in this um, rural area so radio in terms of that i think the method or strategy should be using or implementing that in jingles on radio or yes. something yes okay yes i know some banks for the institu institution i work for and some other banks we've activated what we okay. call automated banking automated voice okay. banking you can sit and to the bank in the language you understand and we reply in the language okay just okay. like your network okay. provider saying if you want to if you understand how so or Igbo, you press this or press that that's how the automated banking works so we okay. try we, it's, we just it just went live right not long ago so we're doing more okay to make sure that people know that this is up and then we encourage other institutions to do the same exactly so while we All in right. our little way do so try to engage with radio platforms and also, of course blogs like what you're doing right now is really great i really appreciate you for that thank you like, Nancy. Right now, a lot of people would yeah a lot of people would know that oh this is happening i know what to do just from mm -hmm. listening to you and listening to your blog so i think it's very important to engage blogs to do stuff like this and enlighten people at least your followers right now are enlightened and they know what to do yeah all right thank you so much nancy you've really bombarded us with so much i really sincerely hope that a lot of banks will be able to listen to these strategies that you've offered today and things can get better in the nigerian banking sector not to take your time thank you so so much have a You're lovely welcome. day ahead thank you nancy thank bye you, you all right bye all right so we just finished with nancy it was such an engaging whew, she preferred a whole lot of solutions so um i hope banks are going to adhere to a lot of things or a lot of solutions that have been preferred here until next time my name is onye buchi or dianja for obuchi multimedia limited um we also we'll also be having another seasoned professional we'll be having a few of them this this time to prefer solutions because we are not going to spread this covid 19 thing because we're going to the bank nope we ain't gonna allow that so that is our personal corporate social responsibility to create awareness on what to do in the banking sector so we'll be having madam uloma is your uh ikiocha rather joining us on the next episode see you same time or whenever we see and there's no fixed time for it. So when we're live, you get the video and it will be saved on our page as well. My name is Ewicho Dianjo again. See you. Bye.